What's up, y'all? You know, the first thing coming back to Town Island in Public Put is um, I kind of want a cocoa because I want um, coconut juice with Splenda, but never come down yet. So I'm walking around where when we come to Philippines when we grow up. Man, a lot of things has changed. As you can see, there's a lot of windmills in the back, and dead. That, that it was a dead. End. So, I mean, I'm looking at it. It's crazy. Like after how many years we finally built that? Well, we came up this hill, and I'm wondering if this land here was whose land? Mom? My mom's land. Because I think they started building something but they didn't finish and it's like how many years already so it's weird. I kind of don't want to walk too far because there's dogs right here. Oof. But yeah I think they started building something but they didn't finish. It's a trip that the windmills are there now. And the thing is like roaring, jet engine roaring. Yeah, a lot has changed here. A lot of things changed. Alright, so we're walking down the complex. My parents them's house slash complex. <laughs> Looks like a mini gated community. But this whole land is there so with along with the families. I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you. So this place consists of I think six houses. We got this house, main house, parents' house. Alright, I'm in the house and I was supposed to do something I promised Mark I was gonna do was to put these stickers on the frontier slash Navarro on the truck, but I gotta do it quietly because I don't want my uncle to know. It's a family car, but I'm gonna slap this without him noticing. I wanna see how long he it takes for him to notice. There you go, Mark. I told you I was gonna do it, and it's now on the truck. For some reason, I did different one before, but it ended up inside the truck. I don't know how. This is the last time I came, but it's in the truck. This time I wanted it outside the truck, so yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot to give him a C50 sticker too, and it ended up here. On the outside. <laughs> but yeah. Now I went full circle. It's finally complete. Got those up there. Good morning, fam. So I woke up feeling like crap. I don't know if it was a bed or it was because of the the windmills going off, but it sounded like jet planes last night. If you're like sleeping real close to it and you listen real good when the fan hits the, the air sounds like <clears throat> like an airplane roaring through the sky but yeah it's kind of noisy um, it's like 6 30 in the morning and i wanted to show you guys this okay. i didn't know it was here but abandoned jeepney i guess it's out of commission already sure whose one is this i'm just like randomly walking to it but yeah this thing seeing these better days but yeah those those windmills back there and then these one up here 
I guess they were spinning so fast yesterday. It sounded like like, like thunder. I was, I was tripping out because I didn't know you make that kind of sound. I guess that one started spinning now. Talked to my cousin about it. And then they said something about the first time you put the windmills is it was like a nuisance so they kind of complain about the noise and all that but i guess they got used to it now yeah it's a backstory of those but uh today probably gonna go check out <coughs> the patapat or a patapat highway um my mom said we have to go get some water from the mountain or something so I'll bring you guys along today. What's up, gang? So I am here at the Bloodwood Marketplace. Um, I haven't been here before, so this is pretty much new to me. Uh, looks like we're buying some food at the market you now. I actually drove past it and I, I said everyone was gonna stop by but they have time to stop by because finally went home, caught up, and then now we're here at the marketplace. So pretty much it's off the main highway when you come to Public Wood. Of course, back there you see the plan or the statue where um, you can see there is, there is actually standing in the middle of the highway on the side of it. This is uh, pretty much. Good. I think it was going to be more packed, but it's not. <laughs> and then this is like the secret section. If I go over this railing, this is the vegetable side. Uh, yeah, so. out there holy shit so I decided to come back into the car and move it into the shade because right now out there is like maybe probably like 90 de 90 90 I was gonna say 92 degrees it's 90 degrees out there and it's only like 9 o'clock in the morning so came in a little car and turn on the AC I'm gonna freaking cool down for a minute but as you can see, I have my shades on because it's super bright because of the... Um, in the air, it's like super white gray because of the smoke and all. And I have my freaking boonie hat. Because damn, it's freaking hot out there. But yeah. Price you pay when you come to the Philippines, you guys. Especially around this time of the year. Like maybe around April. Um, it's super hot, man. So maybe from like... End of March to probably pre-July or early July is the hottest time of the year if you come to the Philippines. So yeah, take that into consideration. But yeah, damn, I'm in the car just trying to cool down because it's freaking hot out there. But let me show you something. There's a kid pulling a sheep over here. Ah, oh, I missed it. That was funny. Looked like he was playing tug of war. Ready to go. He's still pulling that sheep. That's weird. That's the first time I saw a sheep in the Philippines. Interesting. We're here in Patapan. Oh, I'm driving over Patapan for like the fourth time already. So we're here at the Aqua Grande and uh, I think they just closed, it's like 5.30 but I swear back in the days, back in like 
late 90s when we used to come here like we used to just come here and just like go down swim there's a river down in the bottom but nowadays we gotta pay nowadays so wherever we go man we gotta pay so he was actually parking or trying to park here and then the officials was already going home but they saw us coming down the road and then they turned around and then now we're here so now they're they're like they're like um telling us we have to pay so uh, that's unfortunate but i guess it's pay to play but we're here now so i'm just gonna park my truck or the truck so this is the aqua grande back when i was kids we used to just come down here and just play over here and like no buy at nothing just come down and then swim in the river and now we gotta buy it how does it's buy it buy it well, my wife just told me it's 600 pesos per pop. So yeah, if you have the price. Hold on. But I just wanted to show you the Frontier aka Navarro. Navarro? Navarro. With the brand new rims. I think I scratched it. No, oh, not yet. Family truck. Brand new wheels. Did I scratch it? No, it's just dirty. That's right, this thing got nice rims, but it's lacking power. So, I guess nowadays they pay or buy a to maintain the picnic like, areas. Because back in the days, it wasn't like this. It was totally like bare and, and there was no, no stuff like cottages and stuff like this. It was actually more nature ghetto, like more trees, more bushes. Nature ghetto, that's what I call it. But yeah, they have like a makeshift pool where the river, I guess, meets. Or, or the water from the river goes down into that little makeshift pool. And then we just walk down. And it's where the river meets the ocean so it's pretty trippy but yeah it's a nice place to like bring your family have a picnic yeah. i remember we came here years ago i came here years ago and i was running like the whole the whole way all the way around the pool with my gopro on my head that's when i was like i think i would like to say 20 in my home, maybe 19, 20, to get. But yeah, so this is where the river meets the ocean. They got somewhat like a jacuzzi thing, which I don't think anybody swims in here. It's like, oh. Uh. Yeah. Very beautiful, man. This is like the northern part of the Philippines. Crap, I'm gonna walk this thing. Make sure I don't drop my phone. And the last thing I want is dropping my phone in the fucking water. <laughs> I make those steps are still. So these steps I went up years ago. I don't know if it's safe anymore. I think it's safe. I think it's still safe. Yeah, it's safe. This is Aqua Grande. Fresh water meets salt water. North of the Philippines. Pretty cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do this. I don't know where everybody went though. The water looks nice and cold. Tommy is bro! Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, they feel so good. Oh, it feels so good. Water is so cold. It's probably like 65 degrees. Hi. Vlogging the vlogger. I want to jump in there, but I don't want to. Try to walk up the chain quick. Hopefully I don't fall down. 
if I fall on the ending, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna tail off as high as I can. Phew! Oh, shit. Oh, this was so good. I think I'm gonna wet my head because it's so fucking hot and humid. Fuck this, guys. I'm gonna wet my head. And it's alright. So we stopped by the side of the road to get some water by the shrine. We need some water for the house. Because there's like a drought. There's more water up there. Yeah, so pretty much this is where a lot of people come to fill their water because we got fresh water over here like from the mountain. And I remember you used to walk all the way up these steps to the shrine of the Virgin Mary up there. I'm not gonna go up there. So like there's a spring for oh, waterfall. Oh shit, I can't even see. Good start. Goodbye Patapat, see you in five years. Wink wink. Wink wink. Because you always buy avocado, yeah? Yeah, avocado. And okay, I have hard hard greens. I like the ice. Mm -hmm. With hand. <laughs> With hand. <laughs> all right, we've been driving around all over town. Stopped by 7 Eleven looking for Red Bull. And it's already like. 30 man <laughs> getting my 